Welcome to this concise combat analysis of Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Now, this fight is interesting because I think both men are going to be in danger throughout this fight because both their defenses are a little bit questionable at times. But for Alex as the champ, I've, whenever I've seen him struggle, it's against fighters with similar reach and fighters with at least decent to good hands. But speaking of hands, take your hand, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. Alex is his most successful at range, particularly against orthodox fighters where he can kick out his powerful back right leg and attack that lead leg, destroy it very fast. It has no telegraph. I made a video on that. If you, if Alex lands just a few of these, Yuri, Izzy, uh, a lot of other opponents in the past, they immediately start showing signs of damage. And that's where he's the safest on the outside. However, a lot of his defensive problems come on the exit attempting to leave range. When Yuri's closing the distance, look at Alex's defense. He's closing the distance, what is he gonna do? He's gonna rely on his footwork and he's gonna rely on his outstretched arms. So those are that, that's Alex's defense in reality. He'll move his head every now and then, but he obviously he doesn't really block. He, he uses punch traffic by extending his arms and he uses his footwork to escape. And, he, and in exchanges, uh, which exchanges are a strength of his, but in the right circumstances, they're his weakness. But at the same time, in, in his previous fight with Yuri, it was in the exchange with his, uh, I would say his like standardized, his most common counter shots, that uppercut and the left hook. That's what puts people down. So that's why I say it's dangerous for Jamal, but it's dangerous for Alex. If you ever see him fight, he has a few signature moves, obviously the left hook, but another shot is just slip uppercut. He's going to slip, load that weight on the right leg, boom, come with an uppercut. And that one, Yuri was like, oh, he probably was a little bit dazed off that one alone, but it shifted him into the direction of the left and at the same time alex is loading up his weight onto his left as well so it gives power to the left hook which is often now jamal is an interesting case because i don't think he has a technique of a good boxer well i say i don't think i know he doesn't have the technique of a good boxer but i do think he has the instincts of a good boxer in mma at least now as i acknowledged earlier the exchanges for both men are going to be <laughs> dangerous the fight could any end at any moment in those exchanges but for alex his exits out of range are a problem for jamal his entries are where he might get put down like how yuri did he steps in with the jab here kind of overextending kind of off balance falling forward but notice what his backhand is doing his backhand is lowered boom gets counter coming in one thing that's going to be key is um jamal's reactions to the outside leg kick right here he gets caught with it, tries to catch it, and tries to counter off of it, which I think is something we're gonna see. Because Alex is gonna be throwing that left leg instead of the right. Kind of similar to Alex, if somebody rushes in recklessly, Jamal has shown instinctive uh, counter right hook. You see how that shoulder comes up? On the exit, I think it's instinctive for him to look for that counter right hook. Again, you see it right here, his opponent stepping in, he's looking for the counter three. When we talk about exchanges, I don't think it's smart for Jamal to exchange lead hooks. That arm is starting from such a low position and it's coming out so wide. And while he mostly gets the better of this exchange, I think first of all, if he was to win an exchange, it would be more on the outside anyways. But in the mid range and on the inside, Alex's hooks are too tight and they're gonna get inside of that wide arm of Jamal. All right, here's the fun part. Let's get into some quick combat simulation. I think some people are gonna be surprised that this fight is gonna start off relatively slow and low output for both men, but I think the hand fighting starts pretty fast. The right hand of Jamal and the left hand of Alex. And Alex tries to establish some sort of leg kick game with the left outside kicks, some of them landing on Jamal. And I think pretty early after the hand fighting, uh, Jamal will be the one to initiate the hunt. I think he'll be the one putting pressure on Alex. It, Alex will be mostly fine with that. In the process of trying to escape some of the exchanges alex is going to get caught and i think uh jamal might catch some of the kicks try and counter him off of that and i think even by the second round jamal is going to find the distance and time alex on the exit probably hurt him just a little bit and then in the process of jamal rushing in they're going to exchange uh but then one of the shots is going to sneak through very similar to the yuri fight even though they're different styles they're similar issues and although jamal can definitely get alex out of there if he's in the exchange and he focuses on defense first, picks his shots, chooses straight shots, and doesn't choose looping shots, Jamal can win that way. If Jamal wins, it's because he's choosing to lean out of the way and he's cornered Alex and he's using the lead hand to blind Alex and, and load up for the back left straight. 
Now, I got Alex winning. This is the important part. I got Alex winning because when he fought Izzy and he got knocked out in that exchange, he got knocked out by one of the best exchange artists in mid-range and on the inside in the UFC. So many of Izzy's knockouts come in in those mid-range and tight exchanges. I don't think I've seen enough from Hill to make me believe that he's in on that level in those types of exchange. But I'm not super confident about this prediction, but I'm, I'm kind of confident. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That is all fight scientists, concise combat analysis. I'm out.